Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today we'll discuss location mapping in 2D sheets. For those of you that are familiar with the functionality in BIM 360, this is quite similar, but today we'll go through the process of how to set it up in Autodesk Construction Cloud, Autodesk Build. As you know, the location breakdown structure is unified per project and fully customizable to your specific project needs. So the first thing we want to do is to define the locations for a specific project and set them up going to project admin, settings and locations. Here you can do it manually or import an Excel sheet to do that for you. Then when we have our locations and sub-locations and all the different tiers of that location breakdown structure, all we need to do is select a specific location within that tree and link the specific sheets that live inside the sheets area in the system for that location. At this point, you're only linking the sheets, but there is no areas defined yet. So if you want to make any changes, you can simply remove those links at any point in time or add new sheets. In this case, let's open the first sheet. And the next thing we need to do is to define the location areas in this 2D sheet. I previously defined room 1A and 2A, that's why you can see this checkbox next to the name of the location, but let's test defining room 3A. All you need to do is select the specific location tier you want to define in the 2D sheet and then choose the polygon polyline mode and click the different vertices of that shape. Once we finish defining the shape, we can simply click enter and define the next area. Sometimes you may want to define a parent location if there is a specific area, like in this example, a hole that is not necessarily a sublocation within the location breakdown structure tree. And if there is one area on top of another, the system will prioritize the sublocation. So in this case, we know that area A is the entire hole and the rooms that we already defined, but when we generate issues later on the system, will give the room numbers to that space. You can further edit each polygon as needed, or even delete a previously created area if you want to start from scratch. Now, let's just finish our area B and area C rooms in this sheet. And while we do that, let's keep discussing the LBS or location breakdown structure. You may be wondering, how should I define these for my projects? In terms of system functionality, you can have several tiers, but what you need to think about is how complex or how simple you want that structure to be. Because in the end, the location breakdown structure is unified per project in all this build. So this means that it will also apply to other areas in the system, like issues, like forms, assets, etc. So I'd recommend you have a conversation with key stakeholders early on in the project, all the way from project manager, construction manager, beam manager, etc. And also think about the use cases that you need for metadata in the specific project because you can later on filter all this information based on location. And I'll show you that later on in this video when we look at the mobile app view. Once we finish defining the areas for each location, we can go to the sheets area and generate new issues to test this functionality. We did invest some extra time in defining those locations and mapping those areas to the sheet. But the advantage is that this will save you time in the long run. Because when you create issues in these 2D sheets, the location will be an automatic input in the system. For example, once we are inside our sheet, we can verify that those locations are already mapped and then we simply select the issue, create new issue, we select the issue category and type, and we place the issue pin in the desired location in the sheet. Now we'll see that the location field comes up automatically, for example, area A. 
If we select the pen icon, we can still see the entire location breakdown structure, but the system is saving us time by automatically assigning that location to any issue created in that previously defined area. Let's create a few more issues so you see this functionality in action. Now you may be wondering, why is it useful to have our location field in the issues? Well, when you want to filter your issues and you have, let's say, hundreds or thousands of issues associated to many different sheets and areas in the system, it will be one of the key metadata items that you can use to filter all of those issues. You can simply select any of the different tiers that you created for your location breakdown structure in the system, whether that's the parent location or sub-location or sub-sub-location, and look at the issues and items assigned to that location only. You can also export this information, generate additional reports, those included in Autodesk Construction Cloud, Autodesk Build, but also via integration or even the Power BI dashboards included in the system. There's also a specific column for issue placement with a dynamic link to the sheet where that issue was created. From the mobile app, we can also access our sheet with existing issues and create some more. We simply select the issue icon and the specific category and type that we want to create. Like you can see here, the location comes up automatically and if you are wondering, those specific issue categories and issue types are also fully customizable. We simply select a specific due date, start date, maybe some watchers or the assignee. The assignee will be responsible to answer the issue, solve and attach information. It could be a photo, it could be an official response, depending on the workflow process that you have established for each specific issue type and categories. After we finalized the details, we can look at the newly created issue in our sheet. And again, you can filter that information. Inside the mobile app, there is this location specific filter not only for issues, but for other functionality within the system. For example, assets, forms, and issues. Maybe you want to know which assets, forms, and issues have been generated for a specific parent location or sublocations or sub sublocation in your location breakdown structure tree. So now you see why locations are a key component of the framework for your construction projects. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please share it with your colleagues and give it a thumbs up.